welcome to my first pregnancy update. Um, first of all, I can't believe I'm pregnant. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> sorry. This channel is gonna be um, a way for me to document my journey to becoming a mother for the first time and also doing it in a country where I'm not from originally and this first video is gonna be me explaining a little bit about um, why I'm gonna do this the way I have decided to do it and uh, just in general to give you an idea of the concept and how I decided to organize everything. So I have my little notes here with me and uh, I'm gonna look down sometimes because I wrote everything down and I uh, I don't know, I'm just really nervous doing this, but uh, I'm really excited and I really want to do it, so bear with me <laughs> if the first couple of videos are not perfect. <laughs> anyway, uh, so this channel is my personal channel, but I'm gonna share it with my man, my boyfriend, who I live with, because this is a journey we're doing together, and I think that he would think it's fun to be a part of it too. We'll see about that uh, later on. What I have decided to talk about is, uh, first of all, the pregnancy. I want to make weekly updates on how everything's going, baby's development, my feelings about everything, my body, what's going on, and, and all the things I'm learning, <laughs> because this is my first pregnancy, and I have no idea what's to come, and uh, I could really <laughs> use all... Uh, comments and uh, advice that you guys might have for me because sometimes it's difficult to speak with the people close to you and I feel like it's weird to ask my mother about everything because I don't know it's just feel uh, very uh, I don't know it doesn't feel real yet I feel like I should be more connected to it than I'm now so I don't know I I'll come back to it later. So, uh, pregnancy blogs or updates weekly. It's gonna be my story, what I'm doing here, and uh, because I'm originally from Sweden and now I'm living in Spain, so um, there's obviously a story behind that. I also want to share all the special moments that me and my man and our future child is gonna have together. Uh, so I want to document it, our journey, our story together, and the pregnancy itself, because I want to remember everything and I want to be able to, to look back on it later. I'm that kind of person that I forget so easy, so if I don't have a picture or a letter or something to remind me of a certain time, I, I will forget everything. So this is a thing for, for that as well, to help me remember. I just want to share my experience and maybe somebody else who's thinking of moving abroad and, and scared about doing that and maybe starting your own business or like me <laughs> having your first pregnancy being in a country that you're not born yourself and you don't know how everything's going, you don't, you don't know how everything works and who to talk to and so on. I also want to inspire people to make better choices for themselves and create a life that you feel happy about um, <clears throat> and I want to connect I want to connect with people and especially other moms because I feel like uh, moving abroad I left a lot of my friends back in Sweden and I don't have so many girlfriends in my age in the same position in life that I am now, so I feel like I don't have so many people to talk to about this. So connecting with other moms would be something I would be very happy about. So, to get started, um, I wanted to talk about... So first of all, my a little bit about me. Uh, I'm 26 years old. Like I said, I'm from Sweden, now living in Spain. Oh. Can you hear that? Is our cat screaming. She has been screaming since January of this year. 
uh, I don't know how to stop it. It's like she's in heat constantly. So I'm very, very sorry about that if you can hear it. Um, yeah, and also why I'm doing this in English is because my boyfriend is from Chile and he doesn't speak Swedish, so we use English to communicate with each other and I want him to be able to understand um, all in these videos. So I have decided to do it in English, so sorry if I do a lot of mistakes and, and things, but I think you will understand me. Uh, so why I moved to Spain was because I had a dream of opening my own cafe and uh, together with my mom I, I did it because she has been living here since 2009 so basically I run my own cafe and uh, it's going great at my the love of my life who I'm now expecting my first child with so uh, back to the pregnancy <laughs> Uh, sorry for all the rambling. Uh, now I'm currently in week 11. I haven't been able to start doing this more early because I've been feeling really tired and exhausted. And uh, I'm now, as I said, in week 11, in the middle of week 11. So I'm going to talk to you about week 10 and what happened in week 10 regarding symptoms. Uh, my feelings about the pregnancy and everything that's happening and baby. General symptoms of week 10 was a lot of fatigue. I have been so so tired this first uh, few months of the pregnancy. I haven't been able to do anything. I, uh, I've gone to work, come home, fallen asleep on the sofa, went to bed early, wake up early, go to work, fall asleep, you know, I haven't had energy to do anything and didn't put my makeup, I didn't go to the gym, nothing. I feel bad for my <laughs> poor man thinking I'm so boring, but he has been great, he's been helping me, so. I've experienced a lot of nausea as well. Um, so I think it started around week, let's see, five or six. And I've had constant nausea. I haven't thrown up yet, so I'm very grateful for that. I think so far it's, my pregnancy has been quite easy. Not too many symptoms, actually. In the beginning I felt like I had every symptom in the book. But it disappeared quickly. And I was left with just the fatigue and uh, the nausea. Sometimes I have had a little bit of headaches and cramping, but nothing too severe. A lot of bloating as well, so I felt like I was showing from the very start. I felt like it looked like I've been gaining a lot of weight and <clears throat> I knew it was only bloating. Gaining weight or just generally look different was a bit difficult. I will talk more about that later. <clears throat> or maybe in another video because it's a subject I think is quite um, sensitive and I think many people feel this way but we don't talk about it too much I think. I haven't had any cravings, not nothing special I think. Just in general wanting to eat more fruit. Because of the nausea I didn't want to eat any food or I didn't want to eat any meat or anything like that. I just felt like I didn't want to eat it all and, and when I feel that way <clears throat> fruit is usually my go-to source of nutrition. It's the only thing I feel it's easy to to eat. So a lot of fruits and vegetables. Um, aversions I've had. Something I hate, 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 hate is chicken. I feel terrible just thinking about it. I made this chicken noodle soup in the beginning of the pregnancy and we had it two times because we had leftovers so we had it the day after and both these times I was really really nauseous so every time I think about chicken or chicken noodle soup now I remember that and ooh, it just doesn't go, <laughs> it doesn't work. Um, so no chicken, no meat really, I tried to eat meat but it doesn't sound so good to me. Um, but I'm working on it. I'm trying to eat a lot of protein, so I'm hoping I'm doing okay. <laughs> um, baby's de development this week has been 
quite amazing, I think. Now, in the end of week 10, all the internal organs are developed. Not all of them are functioning just yet, but every single one of them are developed. And uh, <clears throat> the heart is almost fully developed. Uh, the tail that made it look like a little seahorse from the beginning has now disappeared, so it looks more like a baby. And uh, also the, the webbing, the skin between fingers and the toes has disappeared, so now it's real fingers and, and toes there. Um, one more. He or she supposedly is moving around like crazy. My app says that the baby is dancing around in my belly, but I don't know, I don't feel anything, so... <laughs> But it's fun to think about it. And uh, uh, one more things from week 10. Oh, one big thing for me was that, well, I guess this is from week the end of week 9, but uh, I started to go back to the gym again, and that is a huge thing for me. I feel so happy being able to go back because I have been so tired and so nauseous that I couldn't do it. I couldn't uh, bring myself to put on my gym clothes and just go. I had no energy whatsoever. So being able to go back now makes me feel great because I get a little <laughs> extra energy with all the endorphins after. So it feels good. I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm trying to be doing similar things to what I was doing before, but uh, not uh, overdoing it, so to speak. And nothing dangerous, no dangerous movements or anything like that. And I have talked to my midwife about it and she says it's okay, so... Uh, one more. I actually lost a little bit of weight this week. But I think now when I'm filming this, it, because it was like five days ago that I checked my weight the last time and I think now that I've gained it back maybe, but I don't know, but so that's weird. But I think it's because of the nausea and I haven't been able to eat so much. So my feelings about uh, everything up till now have been very mixed. I feel very happy and very blessed of, to, to be pregnant and to be, be expecting our first child and it's an amazing feeling, really. The only thing I feel weird about is I don't feel that connection yet because I haven't heard a heartbeat or I haven't had an ultrasound yet. So I have the only real proof I have is the first uh, digital test that I took at home and <laughs> the clear blue one. And I also have the fact that I'm missing my period over and over again and I have this some symptoms but not too much and I don't know it gives me a little bit of stress because I'm thinking should I be worried of not having too many symptoms maybe something is wrong or I don't know I think it's normal for for first-time moms spe specifically maybe not only but to be to be worried about these things but I don't know, I just feel that it's weird that we have to wait so, wait so, so long to get any proof of life. <laughs> and I hope that uh, once I do get it, I will feel more connected to the baby. Because now I feel like we are, it's like we're pretending, almost. <laughs> and I'm scared to tell people because by now my mother and my father knows. My sister knows and my father's wife and her... Um, children knows that we are expecting and also my grandfather that's all the people I have told um, C or my man <laughs> I don't know what to call him yet because I haven't asked him if it's okay if to tell his name anyway he has told his family and uh, they they are living in in Chile so he did it like me like over Skype and everybody so far has been really happy for us, and, but I haven't yet told my grandparents on my mother's side. And I don't know why, but I just feel scared of telling too many people before I get proof of life. Because I feel, like I said, it feels like we are pretending. And I don't want to make people disappointed 
later if something is wrong. I don't think anything is wrong, but I don't know, this just gives me that funny feeling. Maybe you have felt the same. I would be grateful if you could give me some advice on how to deal with this reaction and this emotions because it's giving me a little bit of stress. But anyway, if you have any tips for me, please leave it down below in the comments. And um, I think that was all for the pregnancy update this week. I guess I should give you a belly shot, but <laughs> I'm nervous about it. And I don't know if you can, are able to tell just yet, but uh, I, w I will do it. Because I guess that's why many people go to this kind of updates, because it's fun to see the progress too. So let me just remove that. And let me show you. Mm -hmm. So this mm -hmm. is with clothes on. This is from the front. This is from the side. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm showing a lot because normally I'm very flat and now I can't even bring it in, even if I wanted to. And as you can see, I have my pyjama pants on. <laughs> All for the comfortableness, only that. I feel like none of my pants fit me, but I wanted to look nice for you up here. So I did my best. And I'm sorry about the cat. We have to do something about that. So yeah. Pyjama pants it is. I put makeup on for the first time in quite a while, so anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling and I will talk to you guys soon and um, I, My weeks turn over on Wednesdays, but I'm filming this on a Saturday morning because it's the time uh, The only time I am able to do it when I have good light, so I think I will upload this on on Wednesday or maybe to later today, I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm gonna do my, my updates weekly and uh, if you have any questions for me or any advice for me, please leave it in the comments down below and uh, please like this video and subscribe if you want to. So thank you and I'll see you guys again. Bye bye!